relevant. Um, the latest documentation with SpaceX um, updated the FCC about the orbital test flight profile because they were looking to for the FCC to approve some uh, communications frequencies to use Starlink for communications on the orbital test flight. Um, and in that document, they mentioned a little bit of detail about the flight profile and basically said they haven't decided what to do with the booster yet. Um, they could come all the way back and try and land it. They could also come back and um, just choose to do maybe a partial boost back or let it splash down in the water with like a soft splash down with engines. They've done that with Falcon 9 before. Um, if you were on NSF Live with us yesterday. Oh, hey. Whoa. 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 Okay, so well, we just saw something happen here. Um, we yep. did not expect any sort of ignition source for today's test. Yeah. I um, do not want to jump to conclusions about whether that would um, yep. Oh, just to do all the way back and try and land it. They could also come back and um, just choose to do maybe a partial boost back or let it splash down in the water with like a soft splash down with engines. They've done that with Falcon 9 before. Um, if you were on NSF Live with us yesterday. Oh, hey. Whoa! 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 Whoa, sí! Whoa! Impresionante. Whoa. Impresionante. Booster 7. Algo salió mal, okay, evidente. So well, evidente. we just saw something happen here. Um, we yep. did not expect any sort Gracias of a space for today's test. Yeah. I um, do not want to jump to the conclusions about whether that was not 